Chapter 7 In Loving Memory of Francesco Potenza Empire Bay, April 10th, 1951 Galante wasn't Okay, so guys, welcome back to Mafia 2 Definitive Edition. Last video, we were in prison, we get to, we got to know Leo Galante and, well, as you heard, he called in some favors and uh, we got out of prison faster than we were supposed to. And now we are here. We need to go to Joey's, yes, catch up with Joey. And, uh, let's see. So, Joey's apartment is right here, if I remember. Yep. Let's see. Two. Uh, he's on the third floor, so... There you go, number three. Oh, hello. Buzz off, mister. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Vito! Hey, you break out of jail? Ah, oh, jeez. Good to see you in regular clothes and on the right side of the bars again. Welcome home. Come on in, come in, come in. Man, I tell you, lots changed since I went away. Yeah, I guess it has. And hey, it ain't much, but I hooked you up with a nice little apartment, just like you Thanks. said. Thanks. Now I got a surprise for you. We're going out tonight to celebrate, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody. Yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to need a little cash so you can get things going again. I got a piece for you, too, if you want it. Ah, here. Always comes in handy. So, uh, what do you want to do now that you're a free man? Hey, what do you think? I want to go back to working with you again. All right. I was worried they might have turned you straight in nah. there. <laughs> I actually met a lot of people and learned a lot while I was on the inside. I had a much better idea of how things work. Good thing. Because I wasn't exactly sitting around on my ass while you was in there. Don't worry, though. I'll show you the ropes, like always. All right, well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Jesus, I didn't expect you to be raring to go like this, but what the hell? Come on, let's go see your new place. We'll take my car and go meet your new landlord. You do the driving so as you can get back into the swing of things. Just hope you didn't forget how to drive while you was in the can. Hey, what are you worried about? It's like riding a bicycle. Sure, but when you smack up your bicycle, it don't cost a fortune to fix the friggin' thing. All right, all right, I get it. You're like an old lady. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. And if you ain't noticed, cars are a lot different since you went away. You'll see. Your new place is just down the street, right near the boardwalk. You're gonna love it. Okay, so we got a gun and we got $200. Nice. Uh, wait. I cannot go here? Oh yeah, I can. Open the garage. Walter Hot Rod. Oh, there's so many cars here. Look at this! Automatic Elysium. I can get this? Yes, I can. Look at this car right here. This is nice. Damn, it's good to have you home. I done pretty good while you was locked up, but now that you're out, the sky's the limit. You seen Henry lately? Nah, not for a few years now. He really felt bad about what happened, you know. So what you been up to? We couldn't really talk about much when you visited. Well, after the shit Clemente and that little asshole Luca tried to pull on us, I got hooked up with the Falcone family and I started working for them. Really? Yeah, you'll see tonight. I told you, I got a nice surprise for you. Don't uh. bother asking, because I ain't gonna tell you. Oh, boy. Don't worry. I've been planning this for weeks. That's what I'm afraid of. Why the Falcone family? You could have worked for the Vinci family, right? Leo Galante is part of the Vinci family. Uh, I don't feel good about this. Well, you know what? This car, I feel like it's it's fast, but I feel like the handling is not that good. Okay, how far is it? It's not that far. Okay. Yeah, uh, let's just go. Let's just drive there. It's fine. Like my 
your fucking grandma. You know that? Ah, it wasn't that bad. It was still a boy. Okay. Let's see. All right, this is Ray. close enough. Park here. Go check the place out. It's on the top floor. I already paid the first month's rent for you. And hey, the entrance to your garage is on that side street over there. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. Hey, and about tonight, we're going to a real classy joint. So buy yourself a nice suit. They won't let you in this place look like an ex-con. My kind of place. Okay, so this is our apartment, 174. Nice. Top floor, right? So... I don't see my name here. Oh, yes, I see. It, is it... The one in the middle? Well, anyway, let's just go up. Charles Patrick. Carmen Fischbach. Brian Lawrence. That, those are not me. Jane Cash. Uh, Shane Fleming. Ellie something. Oh, wait, what? Uh, Playboy magazine. Okay. I will take this because it's a collectible, but I would not show it on screen because, well, you know, uh, I do not want to get demonetized for that. Okay, now that that's over, let's go up. Okay, here we are. I'm sure you'll find it to your liking. I live in a similar apartment myself. As you can see, it even comes with a telephone at no extra charge. And here's the bathroom, clean and modern, with all the hot water you could ever want. And here is the master bedroom, and there is the master's bed. It's comfy, with room enough for two, maybe three. And it doesn't squeak, always a plus in my book. I sure hope you like your new apartment, sir. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just one question. When are you leaving? Now, if you'll pardon me, I have to go and check out another client. Goodbye now. Yeah, see ya. Okay. I was thinking, like, who is this guy? <laughs> okay, um, get dressed into a suit. Uh, where's the wardrobe here? Oh, no, that's just the main door. Close the door. And this one? Change your clothes, yes. So into a suit, right? So there you go. Nice. And then go to Joe's. Playboy magazine again. So, um, that being done, I think there's nothing else to do here. Let's just get out of this place. Go to Joe's. Richard Beck, huh? That's his name. I really hope this guy shows up soon. I've got a lot on my plate today, and the housing market is booming. Terry Scott. That's my neighbor, huh? Okay. okay let's get out of this place now. And... There you go. Garage is on the left around the corner. So this is my garage, right? Uh huh. Walter Hothrod, Jefferson, Schubert. Yeah, let's just get the Jefferson. Why not? Okay, so where do we go? We go here? Great. So I'll just skip to that part of the video where now we reach. Joe's. Okay, so we are here. Let me just go and park my car right here. There you go. And let's go inside. Third floor. Look at this guy. Jeez, I thought you was gonna be a no-show. Not bad. Nice material. Thanks. 
So, uh, what's the plan for tonight? You'll find out. A friend of mine's coming to pick us up. I met him when you was on your little vacation. And show him some respect. He's kind of an important guy. Oh, yeah? You'll see in a minute. Here he comes. Hey, Joe. Hey, Eddie. Here I am. How's it going? Man, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, this your buddy? Yeah. This is my pal Vito. Vito, this here is a good friend of mine, Eddie Scop. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Same here, Vito. Okay, fellas. I'm dying for a drink. Let's go. Hey, Vito, you want to drive? I had a couple of drinks already. So, uh, you tell him where we're headed, Joey? Nope. All he knows is that it's a surprise. <laughs> uh, he's gonna love it. I fucking hope so. Unless he got into the, uh, funny business in the can. Hey, what are you two talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You'll see. Hey, come on. We might as well tell him now. Hey, you waited this long. We'll tell him in a car. Okay. Let's get in. All right. Let's go, Vito. Hey, you know, it would help if you told me where we're going. Get out here. No, wait, what? I thought I can get out here. So I talked to Leo Galanti about you, Vito. He said you were a real stand-up guy, and he told me all about the shit that Clementi tried to pull on you guys. But between you and me, why'd you get into that line of work? I mean, we all got our re reasons. Well, uh... Yeah, yeah. Uh, because, uh... You know, I don't, I don't want to end up like my old man, and, uh... Oh, no! Yeah. Look, I figure nobody's gonna help me, so I gotta help myself. <laughs> you do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, scram, baby. So, Vito, listen. I work for Carlo Falcone, and uh, we're looking to expand our operation. Joe's been working for us for a while now, and uh, since you're a friend of his, we'd like to extend that offer to you as well. What do you say? Yeah, sure, I'm interested. All right, let's drink to it. 
Here's to you guys. Right. And to a bright future together. Touch and I can't be drinking too much tonight. Uh, I got some business to take care of. Carlo's a real smart guy. He's into, uh, uh, you know, astrology. You mean astronomy? Uh, fuck you, you fucking cum dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Looks like I gotta get going. Shut your goddamn pie hole. If you want to oh. use your mind. You fellas ready to go? Uh, uh, no. Yeah, let's go. Hey, get up, Joe! If you had prepared 20 years ago, you wouldn't be a one to knock on the door. Hey, oh, oh, oh. Get out of the street. I'm going home. I'm really going to go Good night, you whores! Okay, get into a car. Hey, where the hell is my car? Uh, somebody stole it. Hey, hey, call the fucking cops, man. You're staring at it, you lush. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, good. <laughs> hey, where's my keys? Vito's gonna drive. He's the least fucked up out of all us. Yeah, next time for us, Joe. More pussy, less poos. <laughs> okay, I was thinking, like, come on, guys, get in the car. So, how'd you like the place, Vito? A lot better than playing I this uh, Zeech in the showers, huh? <laughs> <sighs> What the hell's that stink? Eddie, you puke? What? I wouldn't puke in my own car. What the hell? What the hell is that smell then? Oh, yeah, I'm smelling it too. Must be Frankie Potts. What? That asshole puked in your car? Nah, oh, nah, he's in a trunk. What? What? Hey, it's all your fault, Joey. I told you I had some fucking business to take care of, and you went and got me drunk. Hey, since when does business to take care of mean dead guy in the trunk? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, calm down, Vito. Hey, I spent it. We'll figure something out. What's to figure? All we gotta do is bury the stiff. I already got his spot picked out. Up by the old observatory. Got a shovel? Sure, it's in the trunk. And the hole is already dug. All we need to do is chuck him in and cover him up. All right, all right. We okay, so that went south real quick. <laughs> Instead of going to Joe's or wherever we were supposed to go, we are taking a longer road and going to the observatory. Okay. Where's this hole? A little ways outside of town, there's a path in the forest to a small clearing. That's where the hole is. And hurry it up, will ya? God, I need some fresh air. The stench back here is fucking killing me. Okay, so I think I'll just skip to the part of video where I reached the observatory. So yeah, see you there. Okay, so we are almost here now. Let's see. Oh, I thought we could open that gate, but well, we opened it. Not the way I wanted to, but anyway, it worked. Uh, yeah, let's see. Alright, we're here. <clears throat> Uh, 
Vito, go pop the trunk. Is that a joke? That's great. That's just great. Yeah. Uh... <clears throat> God damn it, no shoes. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> oh, fucking Christ almighty. How long this guy been in here, Reddy? Uh, just a couple days. You're gonna have to get him out of there, Vito. That's oh, just great. I can't handle the smell. Some fucking welcome home this is. Hey, mother. Hey, hey, here's a hole. Right here. Dump him in. Finally done. <sighs> okay. Now who's gonna bury him? What? I, I give me a minute to get a hold of myself. Can you just do it? Every time I get a whiff of the guy, it makes me have to puke. And Eddie's not gonna be any ah, help here. Fine, whatever. Hey fellas, how about a little music, eh? You gotta be kidding me. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to this go. This wasn't supposed to be part of your homecoming party, but it's nice out here, ain't it? Well, I ain't been in the woods for a while. Yeah, you won't be liking it so damn much after I smack you with this shovel. Okay, get into Eddie's car. So that was something. We just buried a dead body. Oh, God. Okay, let's get into the car. Take the trunks back to Joe's. Oh, Vito, do not change that station, okay, Joe? It's Dino. You guys can hear this. To me. It's only my favorite songs. My day runs so Okay, so we just need to go back the way we came. So, yeah, I'll go there. I don't think there, like, anything would happen on the way. But if something happens, I'll definitely show that. But otherwise, I think I'll just go to Joe's place and, uh, yeah, we'll skip to that part of the video. So, see you there. Okay, so we are here. Let's just go inside and park the car here first. Sorry, Vito. Not exactly the best way to end the night, huh? But thanks. I owe you one big time. Leave Eddie's car here so he can get home in the morning. You're a good man, Vito. I'll settle up with you tomorrow. Hey, you coming in for some drinks? It's three in the morning! Shut the hell up! Hey, shut up, you whore! Come on! Look you had enough, Eddie. Girls. You're going to bed. Come on. <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow, Vito. Good night. <laughs> 